What's up everybody and welcome. Really happy to have you with me. And in today's video, we're going to talk about this guy right here. And of course, this is the GoPro Hero 9. And basically in this video, I wanna go over the reasons why I bought this camera, uh, the bundle that it came with, as well as some accessories that I purchased for this. So yeah, I've been in, in the market for a, another camera. I actually mostly film on this one right here, which is uh, the Sony a6000, which I absolutely love. However, I wanted to get a second camera, one that was smaller, thought about downgrading to the Sony a5100, just because it has the flip screen, basically does what the 6000 does, and you know, it's a little bit smaller, I could use the same lenses. I don't know, that may still be in the future. However, I finally decided, let's go ahead and grab the GoPro Hero 9. I actually happened to see that, you know, they obviously run that bundle. I don't know if maybe you've seen those ads on like Facebook or Instagram, and they have this bundle deal. I believe it was $349.99 for this bundle. It also includes one year subscription to the GoPro. Uh, so you have a GoPro membership, uh, which covers a number of different things like discounts. You also get, I believe, unlimited cloud storage. Um, you can also like replace your device if it gets damaged things like that but yeah this bundle comes with this awesome case uh, you got that gopro logo right there got that nice tough sound there on the top but yeah it's uh it's good it's durable i think you can drop this and feel okay let's take a look at what comes in the bundle and here's what we got there so of course you get the gopro hero 9 the camera itself uh, we'll get more into that in just a moment uh, you also get this sweet little handle here, little orange guy down here says GoPro. Uh, you just slot in on top here, one of the mounts, and you got this nice uh, little wrist strap here. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. You also get this awesome clip mount, obviously you just mount up here, and then it clips like so. We'll get more into this. I, I love this thing. But we'll, like I said, we'll get more into that in just a moment. Uh, you actually get two batteries. There's actually one in the camera, and then here's the other one. These batteries are slightly bigger than they've been in the past. So what's good about that is you do get a little bit longer uh, battery life, so that's pretty good. Uh, the extra battery, definitely helpful. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, you also get this, this extra mount piece here. Uh, you get one of these, of course, with a 3M adhesive on the back, uh, and it's curved, so if you, you know, do an action sports and you're wearing a helmet or something like that, you know, you could stick that on a helmet. Maybe you could stick it on a dashboard, something like that, and you have another mount. And then, of course, these guys here, you get those, those screws to attach the camera to the mounts. Good stuff. So, like I said, with that subscription, you do get pretty significant discounts on their website for you know accessories things like that whether you want a waterproof case for it or you know cage to take underwater uh, it is however already waterproof uh, however again we'll get into that a little bit with uh, some of the other accessories that I purchased for it kind of changes that a little bit but the thing is with those discounts on there uh, as I was shopping for uh, some accessories one specifically I did actually pick this up and this is the GoPro uh, microphone adapter uh, so you can you you know, plug this in to the side of the GoPro, which I'll show you in a moment. And uh, you get these awesome attachments there uh, to attach external microphone. Now, the thing is with that, uh, the discount's awesome. I can't remember exactly what the price was gonna be after the discount, however, it was very good. I wanna say it was like from $50 to $30, something in that range. I believe the cheapest shipping was like 10 bucks. Now we're looking around like 45 to $50, you know, with shipping and everything. Uh, I ended up finding it on Amazon. Uh, I do have Amazon Prime, so I ended up getting it for free shipping, next day delivery for like 40 bucks. Those are the kind of things you kind of got to look out for if you are going to do the bundle. I think the bundle is a fantastic way to go if you're looking to venture into, uh, you know, GoPro and whatnot. So I don't know. It's one of those things you just kind of have to figure for yourself which what works best. And so what I want to show you next are the accessories that I purchased for it. Uh, and it kind of explained to you why I purchased what I purchased. Now, first and foremost, I went with the Ulanzi G94. Yeah, this is a plastic cage however it's, it's very good it's very durable uh, very good reviews on this uh, again this is one of those things that I ended up purchasing on Amazon uh, Amazon ended up being way cheaper and I got it the next day so uh, so yeah basically what we do here is we uh, take our GoPro Hero 9 and actually first to be able to use this and this is where the waterproofing kind of changes because to get it in there you do have to take this door off here on the side it just pops off like so. And then of course you got your battery here and then there's a slot over here for your memory card, your uh, micro SD card. Uh, so yeah, you open it up like that. Then you go ahead and open the back, which there's this little thing up here on top. You just go ahead and slide that to the side. That pops open. And then the same thing on this side, you just slide to the side and then it just pops open like so. And then you go ahead and slide down in. It's nice and snug, love that. And just clip in the side, clip in the back. And there you go. You got it in your uh, little Ulanzi cage there. It actually does come with this piece too. 
that you can put over the top there and you can actually put on like ND filters and things like that, which uh, that's still something I need to purchase, but still pretty cool. Another cool thing about this case, it also comes with like this little lens cap and then you can just have a little lens cap there just a uh, ladder protection. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Just a uh, little, little case here. And now what's also great about this cage is there's a slot here underneath. That's where this guy comes in. So we can go ahead and take this for our external mic and just slide that through there and put that in there. And then now with this new door, and this is why it's not waterproof anymore because now this is gonna be always open. So that's just something to keep in mind. But I mean, that's really obviously only makes sense if you're out in the rain. You're obviously not going swimming with an external microphone. So, you know, uh, but yeah, then this just fits in right there plugs right in and then on to the next piece. And I went ahead and purchased this guy right here and this is the Edutige external microphone. It is the uh, ETM001. Uh, so it is an omnidirectional microphone. It also runs a little hot just so you know, uh, you know, which is actually kind of good for me because I don't necessarily talk super loud. So this will, uh, you know, pick up my voice pretty well. However, like I said, it's omnidirectional so it's gonna pick up a lot of stuff around the outside as well. I am looking to get the ETM008, which is a unidirectional microphone. It's a little more expensive, but it does sound really good. I know these aren't the best microphones necessarily on the market. However, these work really well for me and what I'm trying to accomplish. So for me, they're perfect. This was $27.99 on Amazon. Again, got it next day, free shipping, pretty fantastic. Uh, it does come with this little pop filter. So we just go ahead and slide that over the top and fits on like so. And then back to this, we have the, obviously the connection there and you can just pop it in like that if you'd like. And like I said, it's omnidirectional, so it can just pop out the side like that and it's gonna pick you up from the back. It's gonna pick you up from the front. Uh, but for me, I decided, you know what? I would like to have something that is a little more directional, especially I am planning to get the 008 model of this microphone, which is unidirectional, so it's very important to get one of these. And this was like a pack of three on Amazon for like $6.99 or something like that. Again, next day, free shipping, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but yeah, a little 90 degree angle there. You just pop it in like so. And you take your little microphone, that pops on like that, and there you go. And now the reason that I went with this is, well, GoPro does have the media mod, which has the microphone on it, the front and back microphone. It does have the connections on the back. It's really awesome. I mean, the case is fantastic. It really is a cool thing. That being said, one of the main things that I didn't like about it is the fact that say you're filming this direction and you're talking into this microphone in the back and you want to turn it around and then talk, you know, you want to keep moving it around and you want to go selfie style. That's the problem is you have to stop the recording and then switch it to the front mic and then go. See, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be able to take this here. Now I could be going selfie style. Got the microphone right there pointed at me. Like I said, this is an omnidirectional microphone, so I don't necessarily have to point it at me. I still do it anyways, just because I feel better. So yeah, face it to me like that, I do that. And then I'm like, oh my God, I don't gotta get that action. But then I can just swoop it around like that. And then boom, the microphone's facing the back. There we go. The thing with these microphones is you do get a little bit of noise from the movement. Heads up there. It's not that big a deal to be completely honest. I'm not that worried about it. I can edit it out. You know, I can easily go like this, not say something for three seconds or less, probably way less actually. And then, you know, back to talking, whatever. So it's not a big deal. I know there's some people that uh, find that to be an issue. It's not an issue. But then what's cool is moving back to some of the GoPro accessories. So yeah. Like I was saying about this clip earlier, this is, I think, becoming my favorite of the accessories. The Ulanzi cage does have this on the bottom, so you can connect it to any of the GoPro mounts. But go ahead and put this on here. I'm gonna grab one of our screws here, tighten it down. I like to put it so that the screw is actually screwing in on the side of uh, where the wire comes out. But then what you could do is, again, this is the swivel mount, which is fantastic. Go like that, and then boom. This kind of just becomes your rig here. I love it, it's compact. I don't need a long stick. The handle's nice and all. I just don't feel like I need it. Maybe at some point there is some sort of situation where maybe this would come in handy. But yeah, like I said, I just like this. It's compact, you can hold it like so. You can turn it around real easy. Again, with the microphone, everything's just really easy and awesome. And then it gets better. So let's say I'm gonna go do like a skateboard video and I can still just kind of keep it on this rig and whatever. And again, it swivels so I can turn it whichever way. I could turn it sideways like so. And then boom, this clip, by the way, very, very strong, very strong. You could clip that on the side of your skateboard and get to it, really cool. Or, you know, I don't think it'll clip underneath. I think it's probably a little too too tall, but who knows, there might be some workarounds. There might be a way to figure that out. They do make skateboard mounts. However, you have to screw into the skateboard, but eh, 
But this is awesome. You can just screw it to the top. Obviously, you're not going to do crazy tricks with this. However, that being said, the one that screws in from the bottom is probably the right GoPro mount for if you're actually going to be doing some crazy skateboard tricks and you want that those awesome shots that you can get. Uh, but for me, I just want it on there just to ride around on, just to push around and get some cool shots. You just clip that onto the side and it's going to hold on. It's going to be fantastic. Actually, let's go ahead and give that a shot right now. Yeah, it's been a long time. Just gotta, you know, gotta find my balance. So yeah, I think that's something that could potentially work. Uh, however, there's some things that I would do differently if I was actually out getting legit footage, uh, which is actually the point of, uh, you know, doing this test in the first place. I think first off, I would take it out of the cage just to give it a little bit smaller form factor. Plus with this cage, you do have that space on the bottom that has the uh, connection for the external mic. So you'd actually lose all that space, which is a good like, I don't know, inch, inch and a half or so. So I think it would be, you know, better having the camera a little bit closer to the clip. Uh, that being said also, you know, the clip works for it. However, if there's too many cracks, it does move around. I think it would be good and work a lot better uh, if uh, you know, I should take it over to the skate park where there's not gonna be these huge cracks and it's just gonna be smooth and it would hold on way better. So, eh, cool. I'm glad I did this uh, test because now I know what I can do better in the future. Good stuff. See, now that was pretty fantastic. I love this little setup. It's, it's just great. Kind of just everything you need right out of this. Uh, but then actually one other thing that I failed to point out that also does come with the Ulanzi cage, and that's this here. It's actually a dual cold shoe mount. And there's a little slot here on top. And then there's a little thing on the bottom here. You just go ahead and slide this in like so. Holds on there and boom, cold shoe mount on the top and on the side there. So if you want to put a light, who knows what else, maybe, you know, you could even get like one of the road mics or something like that, a little bit bigger shotgun mics. They're still not that big. They're still very small, but then you can go ahead and plug it in there and you got the cold shoe mount there. So, I mean, it really just works out. Like I said, I haven't been able to take this out and do too much with it yet. Just kind of getting started. Uh, do you have some test clips? So yeah, go ahead and check them out. All right, so here's a little outside test. I uh, just came out to this parking lot. So I don't know if you hear me, there's also a little bit of a breeze. So we can also test this microphone just a little bit. Uh, do just have pop filter on. I don't have one of those wind jammer, like fuzzy, like dead cats to put on there. So we just have that. Another awesome thing though about this uh, clip mount is being able to clip it inside the car. And I actually realized uh, when I got out of the car that the bottom of this clip mount is actually magnetized. So that's pretty cool. You kind of have to be careful. It's not the strongest magnet. It sticks to the outside of the car, but it's not like you could just leave it there and drive around. It's, it's gonna fall over. It's too top heavy. Uh, but what's cool, there are these areas on the car, uh, like the dashboard right here, where I can actually clip it on and you know get some time warps or time lapses of uh, the drive so yeah so yeah it's pretty cool uh, i do have some time lapse clips from uh, actually putting this clip mount uh, on the dash uh, so yeah check these out
So yeah, I'd say all in all, it's a good pickup. GoPro Hero 9, you know, you're looking for a smaller camera, something that gets really tremendous footage. Uh, I know some people have dealt with some buggy things going on with this. Luckily for me, I haven't run across any of that yet. But again, like I said, haven't had the opportunity to use it for too long yet. I haven't had it for very long. Uh, so we'll see if those bugs start to happen. But for me, for the, what I need it for, for what I want it for, it's perfect, honestly. It, really pairs well with my A6000. Uh, even using my phone, I have the iPhone 12 Pro. You know, all the footage together just it gives me kind of a nice little arsenal as far as cameras go. Uh, so yeah, I really love this thing. That's gonna be very durable and do a lot of different things that I want it to be able to do. So yeah, I don't know if you guys would like to know kind of what I actually use for my settings for time warps, time lapses, you know, photo, video, things like that, though I really don't use it for photo, though may dabble in that at some point. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to know what those are, uh, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and maybe we'll make a, just a dedicated video to what my internal settings are for shooting. Um, you know, maybe I'll just make that video anyways. Uh, but again, leave it down in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in checking out. I would say go get the GoPro Hero 9. It's, it's really awesome. Yeah.